Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm unboxing the newest kit from By the Will for God. This is Every Good and Perfect Gift is from Above. Um, this is their kit kind of for gratitude documented, if that's something that you're wanting to participate in, um, and in just a different way to approach it. So let's dive in and take a look at what all comes in the kit. Um, I did double check before I hopped on here to film this. I'm going to try to film and get this up today. Um, it is still available for pre-sale, so I will show you some of the extra goodies that you can pick up um, at a discounted price if you do the pre-sale order. So uh, pretty standard to her other monthly kits. Um, this one was written and all the artwork was done by Christina. She's Christina's Alive on Instagram. I will link her down below. Um, I have followed her for a very long time. She has beautiful artwork, but more than that, just her heart um, for God is just amazing. And just her her everything, her being a mom, being a wife, being a homemaker. I mean, she just rocks it in so many areas. So definitely go follow her on Instagram if you aren't already. And I love, love, love her artwork. So I'm excited to see it in this month's kit. So let's start with the devotional so you can kind of understand what the theme of the kit is and then we'll jump into all the extra little goodies. So it is called Every Good and Perfect Gift is from Above. And so like some of the other uh, gratitude projects that we see floating around out there, um, the devotional is all about gratitude and thankfulness. It is a 14 day devotional, but her devotionals or Lori's devotionals that by the well for God are typically set up to be um, 14 days. So you have one day of reading and meditating on the devotional and the scripture. And then you can take that next day to um, art journal or Bible journal, however you want to do that. So you can stretch it out over um, a full month. And I love the way that Christina approach this project and so typically as we go into um, November and Gratitude Documented we usually go into a th time of thankfulness like I'm thankful for my family, I'm thankful for my home, I'm thankful for you know my church but she goes into it saying more rather than being thankful for be thankful to so she says let's see here she says, I'm resolved to put the giver himself in the forefront of my thankfulness. So instead of saying, I'm thankful for my family, I want to say, I'm thankful to God for the beautiful gift of my family. And I love that. And she goes in to say, you know, we, we know that these things come from God um, in our mind, but to proclaim it and to, and to just put it out there is so much more important than just knowing it. And so I, that's kind of her way of approaching this 14 day devotional. Um, and so there are, you know, different topics. You've got the gifts, um, thanks in all things, fixing our eyes, um, thankful for salvation, family, church, um, but again, thanking God for giving us our church, thanking God for giving us the Holy Spirit. So I love that she um, did it that way. Now, as you are gearing up for Gratitude Documented, um, and I know there are a lot of options out there, these devotionals are much more in-depth and really prompt you to study scripture and to interact with scripture. And of course it comes with all the fun, beautiful fall themed goodies. Um, but if you're looking for a little bit deeper study, then I would look into these kits from By the Well for God. Um, her devotional content is definitely, you know, really, really great. I've always loved her devotionals. So, um, yeah, so you've got 14 days of thankfulness, and let's dive into all of the goodies that kind of go along with that so that you can journal and um, kind of interact with that um, devotional there. So you've got the 4x6 clear stamp set. She always has such great quality stamp sets. And like I said, all of the artwork and designing was done by Christina, and so everything is just going to really go well together. I love that. Um, and I do still have her kit, I think, from last year, so I might pull out her stamp set and kind of... Um, pair that together and I it may have been restocked if it was restocked into Lori's shop I'll link that down below as well for last year's kit um, and so you've got this little piece here it says God you are good um, by his grace from above this little like wind this feather or these could be feathers or leaves so I like that you can use these for fall as leaves but if you wanted to go outside of fall and use these you could also use these as feathers so I like that they're kind of um, neutral in that way and of course the little cute plaid um, acorn this little branch piece so super cute little um, pieces that you can use for stamping 
You've got the die cuts. So if stamping isn't your thing, don't worry. They've got you covered with die cuts. I like to mix my stamping and my die cuts, but or I like to stamp on separate pieces of cardstock and then cut them out and make more die cuts. <laughs> so you've got the from above. Grateful heart, great is thy faithfulness. And this is all Christina's lettering. You have been so good to me. So good to me. You're a good, good father. I love that. Those little leaves, look at the little deer. She just has the cutest little animals. Her little bear, little squirrel or skunk. Probably a skunk. <laughs> uh, let's see, a little bird, a little rabbit. I love the colors, this deep plum and the deep blue. And if you'll notice, these colors are very similar to uh, some of the other uh, kits that are out there right now and printables that are out there right now. So you can kind of mix and match if you wanted to. This little porcupine, <coughs> excuse me, is adorable. All of these little birds with their gifts. Thanks. Some more leaves. Love the colors of the kit this month. Tons of those little leaves, tons of little acorns. And of course, she includes a variety of tabs. Love that. And then this little piece of burlap. So this would be fun to kind of layer behind pieces. I love to stamp on textures like this. So this would kind of inspire you to maybe pull out some things that are in your stash and use fabric and burlap and canvas, um, especially in fall. I'm all about texture for fall. So there are the die cuts. You've got the um, sticker. So if you're somebody who is keeping track of all the devotionals that you're working on in a particular Bible, you, you can place the sticker in the front of your Bible. That way you can just at a glance know what devotionals you've worked on in that particular Bible or use it for an entry or for your kiddos. So it is a little um, shaped sticker there. You also get three sheets of clear stickers. I love these. So you've got some of the items that we saw in the die cut pieces. So if you're looking to not add bulk to your pages, then these are great for that. These also are great for layering over Bible text because you can still see the text through these clear stickers. Um, some of these darker ones, it is a little bit more difficult to see the text, but something like this, you can still see the text underneath the sticker. I love the little bunny and that skunk. So, so cute. And then this sheet here has some faux washi strips. Um, I like doing that rather than having a whole roll of washi so you can kind of switch things up and change things around. Um, the word endures forever and then these little leaves slash feathers. So pretty. I'm sure they're meant to be leaves, but I think they can go either way. These are really cute. You've got the little card with the logo for the kit and then a key scripture, James 1, 17, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. And then you've got two fabric clippies. Love those. And there's still more. You've got three tippins. So if you are working in a traditional two inch margin, um, these are great for fitting in that, or you can use these as bookmarks. My kids always steal these and use these as bookmarks. Um, and so you've got some scripture, 2 Corinthians 4.18, 1 Thessalonians 5.18. This is one of my favorite verses, one of my son's favorite verses, um, 5, 16 through 18. I actually have a bracelet with that verse. Um, and then on the back side, you have some more scripture. And I love that she has color on the back and the front. So if you are doing these as a tip in in your Bible, you've got color on the front and back. And you could journal like maybe a more private prayer or some notes or just have some extra room. Or if you're short on time, just stick that down in the margin and you've got color and you've got your um, kind of, you know, artwork for the day. So you've got three of those. You've also got a sheet of alpha stickers and it is all these fun colors from the kit in the background. Um, with these busier um, alphabets like this, I like to go ahead and outline them with a black pen um, just to kind of give them some definition and that helps kind of define them um, off the back of the page. But I love having all those colors so you can kind of mix and match other things with it. You get two pieces of flair. It says, Thank the Giver and um, From Above, James 1.17. These are little button pieces. So you can attach these to a Bible bag, your kid's backpack, um, a pencil case, 
use, I will sometimes um, clip them onto the top of the fabric clippy and have that hanging out of my Bible. So there's a lot of different ways you can use these. They're just really cute little pieces. And just to kind of share, you know, maybe your kiddos want to carry these around or something like that. It's just a fun way to kind of piece out the, the kit. And then this is something that's very unique to Lori's kits. If you've seen her unboxings before, um, she includes some watercolor um, swatch cards. So you get six different colors. These are Daniel Smith watercolors. Excellent, excellent quality. I've never had an issue with these bleeding through any of the Bibles I've tried them in. Um, I kind of went ahead and swatched them out so you could see the colors. You've got these two kind of yellows and browns, this Mayan red. This quinacridone violet is a color I'm probably going to have to buy a whole tube of. It is so so pretty this ultramarine turquoise is another favorite mine and then of course green appetite genuine i actually already have this color in a tube this is hands down one of my favorite daniel smith watercolors because of the granulation you get um greens and browns it reminds me of like granny smith apples i don't know it is just uh i love the texture and colors in that watercolor so you do get that and you just have to use a wet paintbrush to activate the color and there's plenty of color here to do several Bible journaling entries. So there is everything that comes in the kit itself which is still available for pre-sale. I'll link it down below. Let me show you some of the extra little goodies um, that are available. Of course as always when you order from Lori, I don't know if you've never ordered from her then you are missing out because she always sends the cutest little extra goodies um, in her packages. You always get a handwritten note from her um, and then just extra little fun, this little stamp set with the little acorns that goes in the truck and this little um, tree. <laughs> How adorable. Um, I'll link a video down below where I showed some uh, a tip for using these smaller stamp sets. You get some extra little fabric clippies and then some extra little die cut pieces. How adorable are these little trucks? And then some alpha tile stickers. So this is kind of the normal for Lori. She's always sending little extra freebie goodies in your packages when you order from her. Um, when you order the kit, there's also options to pick up some additional goodies that um, correlate with the kit. So you've got the clear sticker pack and the tile alpha sticker pack. Um, the tile alpha comes with five different colors that are the same colors as the kit. And then the clear stickers, you get seven sheets of clear stickers um, in the colors. And these would be great for any of your gratitude documented products that you're working on. They're going to um, match the Grace and Gratitude book, the Grace and Gratitude kit, um, any of the other little small Etsy shops that are doing um, gratitude documented. There's a lot of these colors kind of floating around so those will work with all of those and then if you order during the pre-sale you have the opportunity to get some of the new stamp sets for a discounted price these normally are $15 a stamp set but depending on how many um, you order you can get them anywhere from $12 and then as low as $10 if you order several of them with the kit so let's kind of start with um, Christina's I think these are all Christina's I know this is Christina's with her little skunk. So these are some of the animals that we saw in the kit here. So if you are obsessed with those animals, you may want to go ahead and pick up this one. This is Fix My Eyes. Love the little hearts. So, so cute. Um, this one here is Grateful Birdie. So you've got some leaves, the little bird. Um, and this one, by changing up the colors, could go into Christmas as well. So, um you can get more use than just November out of this one here. And that bird is pretty neutral depending on what you pair with it. You can use that bird again and again as well. So that's something I always look for in a stamp set is versatility. I want to be able to use it again and again. Um, this one here is some more Christina's artwork. This is Perfect Gift. Um, again, you've got that little deer, the little fox. Every good and perfect gift is from above. This would be fun to do like maybe cards, like place settings for Thanksgiving or something like that. This piece would be great for that. Um, this little deer, again, can go into Christmas depending on how you color um, the leaves around him and the little fox. So you can get a lot of use out of this, step, um, this set also. This one here, Peaceful Critters, so, so cute. Oh my gosh. This reminds me a lot of the kind of lawn fawn style. If you're familiar with lawn fawn stamps, these critters kind of remind me of lawn fawn critters. I think this might be my favorite. The little fox is adorable. If you've watched my channel, I've had videos for over three years and I have had animals in my Bible for the longest time. My kids just adore that. So this kit is super cute or this stamp set super cute. And again, this can go into Christmas and even after Christmas um, with this set here. 
Okay, I know I said this one's my favorite, but <laughs> Melissa, she's um, Fishtail Designs, I think is what her, or Fishtails. I'll link her down below, her Instagram. She has the, oh, her artwork is beautiful. Her watercolor painting is phenomenal. So this is good news, great joy. Um, this is preparing us for Christmas here. And you've got this really gorgeous church, the word joy, this little swoosh of stars, a tree, and a banner. This would be beautiful to make your own Christmas cards if you want to do something like that, maybe heat emboss it on some dark colored cardstock. Oh, that would be so gorgeous. So this is Melissa's stamp set. You got some information about Melissa on the back. Definitely go check her out on Instagram. She has some beautiful artwork as well as Christina. I will link her down below. So these are the new stamp sets that you can get um, alongside the kit. So rush on over, grab it while it's still on pre-sale. I was kind of surprised to see that it was still on pre-sale. So um, check out my blog post. I will also have color swatches for uh, Big Brush Markers and Neo Color 2 crayons. If you want to pick up those in the colors that go with the kit as well, that will be over on my blog. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box for links to everything I mentioned. All of these were sent to me by By the Well for God for a review, but I have worked with her for about a year now and I just love her kits and what she provides. And more than that, I just love Lori and her heart. So definitely go check out her shop. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.